And good day, all of you. John Henderson, Peter, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. Once again, back to Dwayne Wines. And today, the Winkin' Owl, California Shiraz. Comes in at 13.9% ABV. Let me just double check. And I am correct. 13.9% ABV. And you look at the lettering, it's kind of small, but yeah. Looks like it's a very dry wine. Uh, subtle notes of black cherry, blackberry, and a hint of spice. Uh, so I bought this, of course, at Aldi's where they sell this. And um, yeah, so let me take one look at this again. Make sure that I'm reading it correctly. Yep, 13% alcohol by volume. Correct. You got to be aware, right? Got to be sure. All right, here we go. So I bought this, like I said, a couple of... Actually, I've had it in the refrigerator for almost well over a week now. So we can tell you, I haven't really touched much of it, as you can see. So it was about a week ago. So anyway, um, it was three forty-five dollars for the price of it. Owned by the Gallo family. Again, sold at Aldi's, as I mentioned. Um... You know, I've already done only review I've done. I've done the Merlot, and I think I might have done another other wine from them. Um, so, but the e j Gallo owns the wine. Of course, a lot of offset products that they do for, you know, discounted budget flavored wines to your high expense top shelf stuff. So, this would be considered budget. So, see the color, not too bad. I just had a burger just now, and... um I basically was drinking water, so I said, well, let me do this wine review and kind of get it done. Burger I just made with some um, onion soup mix, mix it up together, add some steak sauce, and I threw it in the uh, air fryer. And... Yum, 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 yum. Cut up some slices of uh, Swiss uh, cheddar cheese. Sharp Wisconsin aged cheddar cheese. No, 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 sharp New York Extra sharp New York cheddar cheese. So there's New York and extra sharp Wisconsin. What's the difference between those two cheddar cheeses? I don't know. I, I love them both. So I'm just going to go right there. <laughs> there's the, there's my reasoning. There's my difference <laughs> or my liking of it. I love both style cheese. Extra sharp Wisconsin, extra sharp New York cheddar. So maybe the temperature, uh, whatever comes out in the Northeast, but they're both cold places, Wisconsin. New York State, you know, they're both cold in the winter months. So, anyway, you know, that's my difference. So, looks good. So, um, getting definitely hit a little bit of spice on the nose. Mostly the spice, but I'm not getting the aroma of the black cherry and the blackberry. Like I said, I've had it a little bit of it earlier. So, I could say when I was sipping on it, few times with a friend of mine so it was mostly getting a lot of that black cherry so let's have at it cheers you have to get the spice they definitely get the um the spice I'm getting more black cherry and sort of the underlying of the blackberry in this wine, but it is dry. I'm going to let y'all know it's not going to be sweet. It is dry. So, which are the style of wines. I mostly drink reds, and those are the styles I tend to like. Shiraz, Cabernet. I haven't done the Cabernet yet, but I've had it, but I have not done the Cabernet yet, so. Look in the same avenue of other budget wines, like, you know, the Oak Leaf brand wines that they sell at um, Walmart, Maker's Mark, members, excuse me, not Maker's Mark, Members Mark, which they sell at Sam's Club, Walmart, you know, um, of course, the, the Kirkland's brand wines, which for this size, the 750 milliliter wine, I doubt they would sell this for this price. Maybe they'll sell it for maybe $4.99 and the big bottle sell for Eight ninety nine or seven nine depends on the price that you get. 
But anyway, good budget wines, inexpensive to have while you're cooking dinner or you're going to, you know, serve, you know, just to sip on. You want to set room temperature, especially don't come the winter months would probably be better. Yes, it's not, it doesn't have a cork, it's a screw off cap. So I'm sure the wine snobs are watching saying, oh, how dare, how dare he say I buy wine with a screw top on it. Blasphemy, blasphemy. Yeah, who cares? But anyway, like I said, it's nice budget wines that, you know, as much as the snobs will say whatever, I don't think they're that bad. Um, kind of the same mindset of Joe working Joe, working Jane. You know, I want to enjoy the good the good things of life. And if I want to get a good bottle of wine and I want to, don't want to break the bank. Um, again, my, my, my limit for me is 20 bucks. That's it. No more. I ain't going over. I don't care if I like you or don't like you. If I'm buying it, it's going to make sure it's not going to be over $20. So. Also, what's all the other California roots, which you see at Target and a few other wines there in between. Spring Creek, another one right there uh, at the Dollar General stores. Um, I haven't been to, you know, none of the Dollar Generals here in Georgia sell wine, so. Unless I was back in Alabama, but you know, I'm not stepping foot in Alabama again, unless for visiting family and friends, which I have down there. But in any event, um, yeah, that's what they are good, inexpensive budget wines. And this is a good, expensive budget wine, not great, but for what it is, for the price you're gonna pay, you know, I'm not gonna break the bank. So, again, meat dishes, grilled meats, steak, um, you know, roast beef, you know, that's in the crock pot, or you know. Or we serve on a you know smoker, you know a nice good pasta dish, you know with a meat sauce or red meat sauce or whatever. This is what this thing is for. Like I said, I just had a burger earlier and I mostly was drinking water, but now pairing them with the Shiraz, maybe it was kind of a good thing to be. And it's kind of going balancing it out. Like I said it's not too long. I just had a burst. Like I said I saw the wine. I said, hey, let me go do a wine review. Yeah, why not? So really good, inexpensive, nice, enjoyable wine um, for the price. Uh, I'm going to go B plus on this one. So this would be, no, I'll go B. I'll go 83, 8.3. So B solid for the Winking Owl Cabernet, uh, excuse me, Winking Owl Shiraz right there. Shiraz, California Shiraz. Check it out. Owned by the sold at Aldi. So if you go to your nearby Aldi store, buy it. But I'm sure other stores across the country, maybe under another name or another style or around the world. But you know, in any event, that is it. The Vino. Check it out. I'm sure you would like it. Yay. John Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Rebels. And keep on watching as always. Cheers, live, laugh, and love. Uh, 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 uh. The Vino Shiraz, we get out. And I like, I like, yay.